This is just a short video on doing the valve clearance check on a 2019 Sim Cross. Move the seat and the bucket just for 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts. Very easy. Uh, remove this front cover here. Unscrew. Uh, you'll also need to remove the battery cover. Four screws. Then that lifts out, and then that allows you to just slide this cover out then you uh, prise this tube here off the uh, valve cover the valve cover itself comes off with uh, four uh, 10 millimeter bolts i had a little bit of difficulty with one of them it was rusted the tre uh, treads had a little bit of corrosion that re re uh, reveals to you um, the valves and their rockers. I'll get back to that in a minute. Before you do anything, you need to find top dead center on the compression stroke. To do that, remove this cover here on the side that over the cooling fan and the flywheel. In my case, there's one bolt seized, but I was able to get it back enough to um, see the flywheel. On that flywheel there, the metal, uh, wheel there is a mark can't see it on the camera now but there is a mark with a line and a T the letter T you line that line up with you see that um, piece of the engine casing there let me just show you if I can get my finger in just point it out and that there line the T up with that uh, another way of checking but just to be doubly sure is on the sprocket here where the chain is that hole will be at the front there's another hole there as you can just see that lines up with the cylinder casing and there's another one on the bottom camera's not picking it up there but then you know you're at top dead center after that what you need to do is release this lock nut um, you turn this here with either a valve adjustment tool or with a um, you can do it with a, a pliers most likely you'll need to turn anti-clockwise to create the correct gap uh, I've used the 0.13 millimeters strictly speaking it should be 0.12 but that was the closest feeder gauge I had I'm happy enough with that I'd rather have it a little bit loose uh, on the sim cross 2019 it's the same valve clearance top and bottom obviously you need to make sure that when you're doing up the lock nut that the valve adjustment does not move um, just double triple quadruple check when you've done the lock nut up nice and tight just make sure that the gap is right you should have a little bit of drag on the feeder gauge and then it's just a matter of reassembling everything